listen up. It's the number one voice of the Tri-State. I'm number one. It, it, it's, it's, it's clicking, clicking up, up 215. So let the show begin. Here we go. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth. It's your girl, Emma Grant. And this is Cooking Up 215. We got a special guest with us tonight. We got Miss Tinka Bella. Hey, y'all. What's up? It's your girl, Tinka Bella. It is. What's up, Queen Yurk? Yurk. I'm going to just call you Queen Yurk. Let you do that, too. You. I mean, because it's behind me. You know what I'm saying? It's behind me. They know Queen that. Queen of the Yurk. Yes, sir. How it been? How that year it been? I mean, how you been? It's healthy. It's healthy. And overall, everything Eating is fine. Eating good. Out yes. Miami. Yes. Sunshine. I love it. Every day. It's well tanned. Yes. She's living a life out there. Got to be. Okay. I'm with the song. I know yeah. you know because you be out Miami like yeah. any other day, too. I'm like, yo, where you at, sis? Like, she be in Miami, Miami. like, you with somebody down, down South okay. Philly. Like, when you call somebody yeah, just out their area, that's how she be. Like, she just be going, like. We outside. Yeah, the day yeah. Like we outside. Yeah. When she yeah. need a cool tan, she just slide out. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, cause you out there, swimming pool life ain't bad. I mean, yeah. Life, right? it, it get what it's supposed to What's the vibe? Philly versus Miami. How you feeling? <laughs> I love Miami. I mean, I love my city, y'all. Like yeah. I love Philly. I love my city. Shout out to you. Know what I'm saying everybody. Uh-huh. But Miami is just like every day is sunshine. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Ah, I love it. It gives what it's supposed to give. It's like, good energy. Yes. Like, it's stress free? Yes. <laughs> like okay. the energy, the vibe make you just, there's nothing to stress about. That's what's up. At all. For real. So what made you make that move? Because I feel like in Philly, <laughs> you was popping on my timeline. Like, That's true. Nah, stop. You was For popping. Sure. That's when you, your, you know, shorts and all that shit. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, and then you just up and disappeared. What made you make that move? That Honestly transition? speaking, y'all, it was um, it was depression. Like, okay. it was like a move. I just woke up one morning and I was like, I can't do this. I'm out. Like, although like everybody seen what they seen on Instagram, I was still like dealing with what I was dealing with in the inside. Mm-hmm. And I just woke up like, fuck that. My family ain't shit. This nigga ain't shit. I'm mm-hmm. out. Take my daughter. We out. So you had a nigga at the time? Yes, I did. Was he like the main cause of the stress? No, my mom was. Your mom? Yeah, okay. my mom was. But he just added on to the stress instead of taking it away. Right. He just, like, but get your big ass out of here. Right? My mom is with me now, two years clean, yes. Okay, all right. Yes, yes, she is. Thank so she was battling with, like, addiction? Oh, now. God, yes. Yeah. She was always fried. Oh. <laughs> but like, She's always fried. Always fried. fried. <laughs> like, mom, but shout out to you, Neil. Congratulations. You are amazing. Right. But, yeah, like. We got to talk about the dark times to get to the good. For the sure, yo, because it was major. Right. <laughs> like, it was bad. Like, just on your head, just killing It was you. bad. Everything was bad. For okay. sure, everything was bad. But I am wonderful now. Like, I am wonderful. You shining. I see yeah. I am wonderful, you Got a whole little glow around you. You know what I mean? You walk in, lighten up the room. You ready to go. For I sure. like that. And I appreciate y'all. So the energy is good. Yeah, definitely. She, she walked in, y'all, and she turned this motherfucker down the whole vibe. Oh, yeah. They know, they know yeah. Again. She got the energy. The it ain't just for the know. grand. That's no, real life. this is you real life. Y'all, this is not real life, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, they know it's real life. It's Some real people life. don't know, because when you deal with people, man... <laughs> That grand be showing one thing, and you get them in the kitchen, and they be a whole another thing. That's so right. it's like we love right. when somebody come across with this that same right energy. Now. That's it. Like yeah, this really. That's you. Yeah. All day. <laughs> and day. we about. To, I'm ready to get busy. She was clapping and all. Like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that is yeah. crazy. Yeah. So we where that nickname Tink come from? Tink. Yeah. <laughs> My grandma used to call me Tinkerbell. Oh. And I like, I tried to put it on Instagram as Tinkerbell, and somebody had the name already. Yeah, of course. Mm. I'm just like, think of Bella. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody got a name. Mm-hmm. Like, think of Bella. <laughs> yeah. Now we're introducing. Think of Bella. <laughs> you know, like, it's just there, like, it's no think of Bella. It's me. It's you. Yeah, okay. it's only way. It's and so I just, true. yeah, Instagram name was like, yeah, call me that. That's okay. my name. So what was the love like you was getting before you left? Because that's when I feel like you was, you was elevating. Honestly speaking, I want to say, oh my God, the love, it was decent. Mm-hmm. Like, I woke up, listen, y'all, I woke up, I was selling edibles. I think it all everything happened around the same time. Right. Like, I woke up and <laughs> I'm like, I want to sell edibles. I just got into it. My nigga was like, what? 
He ain't even had faith in me. My my friend was like, I'm selling these edibles. I'm like, let me buy some more food. This nigga was charging me fifteen dollars an edible. Mm. And I was selling it to my Instagram people for like thirty dollars an edible. They was buying it. I was about to mm. say, cause they only going for like a dollar. They was mm. buying it, you hear me? For the I had this ball. I had this line when I used to pull up the people, I would say, This edible will get you so high you'll rob a bank. The next morning I asked people, Did y'all rob a <laughs> bank last night? Cause I heard it on the news. <laughs> That's like a good and they job. really got you That's high, you know what I mean? I just started getting lit, like and it just was like, damn, it's really that shit there. Yeah, I but, feel like all that was like around the same area. Like the yeah, it never came up. from people I wanted it to come from though. That's the crazy part. It's always like it that. never came from like my homegirls. Like it's crazy. It never came from like my family. Like I had like three cousins who supported me. It yeah. was bad. Like I'm talking about girls who was what well, bitches was getting their taste. Like mm. I'm like yeah. It be like that. So it's always like the. Com- I'm sorry. Oh, no, you good. Where the support was coming Girl, from? Girl, my Instagram went crazy. Yeah. What? I mean, I, listen. I ran up thirty thousand dollars selling hoodies with my face on it. Hey. And they supported me so much, and thank y'all so much. That's I love so y'all. And we gonna run it back too. again, like. Know, and it was just, it was crazy. Like I just, it was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. They, they really, they really supported me. Like, like my grams supported me. Like I was riding around from getting addresses. I'm like, send me your address. Getting addresses, losing. It was crazy. Like I was getting lost. But then I used, to, I had a, I had a method to my madness. Like mm. I made it happen, taking pictures with people, posting hurt. people, and it was just like it went crazy. Shit lit on fire. It yeah. went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes, something it about people and supporting people that they close to. <laughs> like if they close to you, if they really not a part of what it is that you're doing, for sure. they for be sure. on some. Shit a little bit sometimes. Yeah, you know what I mean? I feel like the other thing be too, like when they know you your whole life, they have a problem seeing you as the new you. They, oh, yeah. They always see you as, they're never going to see you as Tinkabella. They're going to no. see you as who you used yeah. to be. You know what I'm saying? For so, sure. And sometimes they don't even mean it like in a bad way. They just really don't see it. But my but past, you have to my show past don't bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> like it is yeah. what it is. Like you feel it, me? It'd be like even like once you get around the past though. I don't think. You know, if we, if we come from the same block or yeah. we neighbors and then you elevating and you pulling up Rolls Royce, it's just yeah. like this natural yeah. hate a motherfucker's of got. Course. You know what I mean? Like yeah. And it's like, damn, we, we can all get money together. Yeah, yeah. I don't know no, what the man. problem like, is. There's no shortage. Like, <laughs> that's I don't know what the problem is. We can all get money together. That's where like, my head be at. But everybody don't think like that. Everybody no, do not, not be for the come up. They do no, not. not. Crabs in the bro for a reason. You understand not. me? For a reason. But I'm proud of y'all. You proud of us? Yes. What you mean? Why you proud of us? Consistency. Y'all determine. Like, it's giving what it's supposed to give. We appreciate that. It smell good in here. It smell good in here? Yes. The vibe is right? The vibe is excellent. You heard it? Phenomenal. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Listen, no, we appreciate you, though. We see you. And you went on Miami. You ain't going to Miami just to go fuck off and bullshit. Yeah. You working. And she holding it down. Been there. You working. What's the... That's so you doing music? Yes. Let's touch on it, right? So you went, you got a feature with Julio Fulio. Yes, I did. How did that come about? <laughs> okay, so I never knew who Julio Fulio was. Okay. I didn't know who he was. I posted a TikTok on Instagram. Um, what was I doing? It was like something. It was like that TikTok when it's like something. I put my wig off and he like DM me. Like he liked first of all he liked like two of my pictures. <laughs> mm-hmm. So my boyfriend used to have my Instagram on his phone, so he like um what he knew <laughs> No He knew he knew the he knew the boy was in my DM the whole time or whatever. He never told me. Like mm-hmm. he said Fulio told me he DM me like this time, but the boy never told me. This one oh, day I seen him like the shit. picture I click on the page, I'm like I'm like, babe, you know who this is? He's mm-hmm. like, Yeah, that's Fulio. I said he just DM me and said, Yo, you high, I'm trying to do a song together. He like, all right, so nigga, let's go. Mm-hmm. He tried so to tell me to charge him. Though. He tried to tell me to charge him a thousand. I was really gonna take him now. I'll take it all in the mess. I looked at the mess. I'm like, I'm like, man, mm-hmm. I got a song for you. You ready? Right. Okay. He touched me back like send it to me. I sent it to him. I swear on everything I love. He sent the song back in two days. That's how it And go. it was complete. But we ain't shoot the video until a year later. I when I, I was living in Miami at the time when we shot the video and I was home. He called my phone, like, sing for you last time I'm in Miami. Mm. He like, why I'm out here too? He like, you trying to shoot that video? Right. I'm like, yeah, mm. but like, I don't really got the money to shoot. He like, money. He like, yo, pull up to this address. I'm like, all right. Exactly. My hair was in my <laughs> sis. I had the meek sis. You had the meek braids. I'm cracking. Yeah, I had the meek sis. Yeah. I jumped up like, mom. Yeah. Fulio just what? Glue my little blue wig on. Found it in the drawer. Glued it on. Okay. Gave what it was supposed to give. Shot the video. It was a good job. But the cameraman did some nice stuff. What do you do? He just was playing with me. 
kept trying to come at you. He just was playing, like, kept not trying to send a video. Yeah. Like, send a video. What was he saying, though? Come on, I know it's like, more to it, because I know how it go. They start good. holding that footage for how they tell me some holiday. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He did me a photo shoot like two weeks after that. You okay. remember he DM me like a shoot a photo shoot? Uh -huh. you know he, I go to the photo shoot. He like, yeah, I wanna take you out. I'm like, no. Hit I'm you cool. with this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, cool, I'm cool. I'm gonna buy my busy dancing my photos. I DM like my photos in my video like i don't know how y'all do with that as females right in entertainment like y'all deal with that a lot like dudes who always try to transition from the from the okay, work to it's the always, pleasure they always try to talk about business and go straight into mommy let me get some money how you never get mm. what especially you let me be you honest with you i can't you two y'all both are you know i'm but, just speaking like I'm a I'm a letting I'm a letting shoot my pictures and I'ma get my pictures. Mm -hmm. I already know what men intentions be, but like like I said, it's a method to my madness, y'all. Like and then I'm you really not about no work. I'm not about no games. Like I make too much money to be about like it's it's not giving it. Like and I make True. money by myself and I take care of like a lot of people. Right. Like so it ain't it's not no game to me. So like a man trying to tell me like, yeah, da 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 why wow, I'm taking that serious, my craft is serious, like I'm mm -hmm. really going somewhere. So you're not about to play with me. Not like, you really not about to play with me. <laughs> like, and I'm crazy. I'm a tourist. You not about to play with me. So the energy too strong. He what? just going to get, get it up. It ain't even about just give, give, give. But, like, we really on, like, to be honest with you, okay, like, I'm, I'm a young lady. I'm 23 years old, and I just turned 23. But right. I've been grinding for a long time. I ain't never sell no yams of mines. You feel what I'm saying? I've been mm -hmm. doing this for a long time. I take care of my mom. I've been through a lot. You feel me? Right. So, like, <laughs> a man trying to, like, offer me stuff. Sir, and, and I gotta really like you, you to for it to be like my last man. Like it was really like he had me on a. You feel me? Right. So the energy like, be there. You 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 moving off straight I'm vibes not playing, and energy. I'm not playing. So we gonna handle this because you get a check. But we gonna handle this for sure. But right. it's gonna be beneficial for both of us. You right. know what I'm saying? You can get some. I can get some. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now if I wanna do something with you, then that's a different story. But I don't be going to know with y'all. Y'all gone. <laughs> you feel me? They be ass. <laughs> for real, yeah. like, no, for real though, they do. They like a do. lot, of, a lot of guys don't know how to come off. They they burn themselves out all the time. And one thing about women, since I ain't, oh I'm sorry God. to give it up, but we know when we want to give it up. I we already know from the though. rip. Like you, listen, I'll be having these conversations, and they be like, dude, like on everything, you know I'm on it. I got you. Listen, they <laughs> you be know jumping off. You. When you see this podcast, you gonna know it's you. Look. I'm going to do something to him. Mm. So you already got one. You got your eye on. You already know what, what you're I'm to do. waiting for. I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah. I'm just got to make it make sense. We used to deal with each other before. Uh. He know I'm crazy. Put that old thing back. Okay. okay. All right. Did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he about to do something, right? No, we didn't do nothing at all. Oh. It's the mentality. It's his demeanor. See, there you go. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That keep you warm. And what he though. doing now in life. Keep you going. It's like, you Yes, sir. Because mm -hmm. a, a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes like the. Uh, oh, my God. I can't even chill. I only got juice. What am I going to do? Well, we want to take shots in a second anyway. Like, but, but um, I feel like a lot of dudes <laughs> lead with the whole, they jump out there and they start talking sexual shit. And I'm like, that, that's not the way you do it. Really not. Or they not just be corny. Really help you. <laughs> that's corny <laughs> from the rip to me. You, like, know you know what I mean? That's just not never going to do and it. And for you men, too, we should carry a box of corn dogs. And you just gonna hand it to every corny nigga? <laughs> yes, like, so like, how I talk to me, I'ma just. That's crazy. Yeah. Can't yeah. do no oh, niggas like that. Stop. These niggas can't handle no, no rejection like, like that. You hand a nigga a corn dog, these niggas might yeah. do something crazy. Don't do that out there. Like so. Especially not Philly. Maybe Miami, you get away with that shit, but. I mean, if it's free, though, it. it's free. Like, hey, I don't need no corn. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, they feel it's gonna be hurt. Out, you know nigga. they can't take no hurt feelings? They Let cannot take here. no hurt feelings. Listen, though, I know y'all hungry. I'm a little hungry. Right, you know I mean, so I think it's time we get to the food. Y'all ready for some food? Yeah. You ready to see what she cooked for us? Because yes. she ain't tell us, so <laughs> it's a surprise. I'm ready. You know what I'm Chef. Listen, it's your boy Smooth. It's your girl Amber Grant. Think about love, miss you, bitches. Connect. It's cooking up 2 on 5. We'll be right back. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> you already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth, and it's my favorite time of the show. It's time to get into that food. And today we have Miss Chef Nira, aka Miss Auntie, in the kitchen with us. How you doing, Auntie? Listen, y'all internet auntie. It's Chef Nira here. How y'all doing? Y'all already know the vibes. 
Mm-hmm. Let's get it. Listen, <laughs> what you got for us today? Okay, so today I got for y'all a cornflake battered chicken tender with broccoli and three cheese pasta. Mm. So, you know, right it's now I was whipping good. it up in the kitchen. You was whipping it. <laughs> whipping it up in the kitchen. It's looking moist. Cheese is still glistening. Listen, homemade. The broccoli looks just right. You know what I'm saying? Just it ain't right. that overcooked broccoli. Oh, no. We don't do no soggy. Some black folk nah. don't know how to cook <laughs> their broccoli. It be straight sogginess. <laughs> No, your mouth. Yeah, just <laughs> mush broccoli. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a baby just eating mush broccoli. I don't like that. But this broccoli look tender, juicy, perfect. For sure. And you get into the cakes and everything too, right? Yeah, cakes, cupcakes, catering. I do all that. Uh, do all that. Bartending. So, listen, we lit. You out here. Weird. Auntie, out here. Y'all got to see Auntie <laughs> Cakes, man. Make sure y'all get a chance and check out Auntie Graham. Auntie, let them know where to follow you at. Follow me at Nira Babes. You already know. I follow back. Listen. <laughs> You won't be disappointed. Oh, you already won't. Your boy Smooth is putting you on. Understand this. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's your boy Smooth. It's Nera Babes, a.k.a. Auntie in the Kitchen. It's Cooking Up 205. Let's get back to the show. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's Emma Graham. We back with Cooking Up 205, and I got my boy. Smooth. And we still here with Cinco Bella. You know the vibes. Yeah. So we about to get into this food from Chef Nera, a.k.a. Auntie. It's looking mm. real good. Yes, yes. So, yeah, that's what we doing. Y'all know I'll be the you. first one to say dive in. I ain't gonna Wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Stop. Say, yes. Well, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to give you all honor, glory, and praise. Watch over us and Chef Nera mm-hmm. for cooking this food. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Now yes. we go okay. in. God is good. Mm-hmm. Shout yeah, out to Chef Nira. So it's the pasta. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. I'm on it. Mm-hmm. Listen. Oh, my God. Y'all we got to chew okay, the noodles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she did the noodles. I'm going to save like. y'all some. I promise. Mm-hmm. That's it's really that now. That's mm-hmm. it. So, like. You about to ask me something. I'm about to. Already. Why you eating? Because I just had this, no this question that just popped in my it. head. When it comes to like, you I know, just for the ladies out there, in case they might want to know, I know they be in the gym working out doing squats. <laughs> Is there a certain food routine to maintaining the your, you know what I'm saying? Is there certain things this. you eat that might keep that joint just right? No, I was born with this, y'all. I'm just making it trend today. I mean, it just come naturally. But ladies, cornstarch. Eat some cornstarch. See? <laughs> See? I knew it was Eat something. Eat some cornstarch, get up. Like some gravy. You know what I'm saying? So, so the noodles and all that is going to go right down to the... I mean, it's... To the yurt. It might be some fellas out there trying some, to get their ladies no, to pick it up a little bit. Some girls to go to the stomach. Go to the That's stomach. That's a fact, Yeah, so we got to be careful. So how do you maintain the stomach and keep the thighs and all that shit thick, though? So is it a science to it? Like, how you keep the stomach flat and still keep the yurt yurking? You know what I'm saying? I work always out. feel like if you work out, you're going to lose a little. I mean, I do. I be losing it sometimes, but. You know how to get it back. I mean. <laughs> what's the science? Come on, what's the, what's the secret recipe? We, we got to, me as a man, I'm trying to help my fellow men out to help everybody get as thick as you ladies. You know what, what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a service for the ladies, community. Ladies, just stay in the gym and stay, like, active. Y'all squats, get a little back shots. You know I mean? So back shot. It's some corn but starch. You, but you also, <laughs> but you also an island girl too, though, right? Because yeah, I'm gonna lie, y'all be day. y'all be having a little bit of a different physique, a different fat yeah. model yeah. Than, than us. I feel yeah, like, yeah. well, sure. the people that's not straight from there, and it's right. good. Like it works for y'all because like. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all already really be, be having to do too much. Well, so I've had friends. When I meet island girls, especially like some Africans or some Jamaicans. Oh, well, an avenue. <laughs> <laughs> they out there. Moms and all, with the babies on the head that. and all that. They be like, damn. They give us they eat an oxtail and all that shit oh, every yeah. day. Mm, yeah, curry chicken, you know curry I mean? goat. Some cassava oh, leaf. Yeah. Everything. That shit is tipping. That's what we do. I don't know what I'll do in Africa. You don't know what you're doing. Some got some sun. Never come back. Same thing I do here. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no. Listen, yeah. hold on, because before we left, we were talking about taking these shots. So I know we eating this food, so now y'all ain't got no excuse. We're going to take these shots. Let's shot o'clock. Ready. Shot o'clock. o'clock. Turn up time. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we only got one left. we be all right. For those who ain't, you know, ain't see us, take the other shots. Grab y'all bottles in you. The casa Cheers is gone. This, this the end of the casa. Cheers. Cheers. That's Cooking why I'm thinking you're acting crazy. Chef Nera. 
Mm. Here we go. It's down now. I'm about to pull out the black book, start asking the dark questions. Saying, though. But you was in a Wale video. You was in yes. a couple videos. We talked about it. Look, it's, it's hanging it's his Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what you spoke. You worried about how you hear me. <laughs> so who videos have you been in? Wale. Mm-hmm. Bryson Taylor. Bryson Taylor? Yeah. That's um dope. What's his name? Too rare. Um Hot Boy, Cody Black, Cliff, South of Santana. Oh, she um, got the list. Mm-hmm. And a few other artists from Philly, uh, Minister Gold. <sighs> Let's go on. What well, they just yeah. start hitting you up, like, yo, I need you. I mean, they see this fat ass dirt in certain parts. Like, you know, they like, yeah, T play, T gonna do this part. She gonna do it right. Yeah. And I'm like, and you play with some people, I'd be like, I got you, but like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got. You be spending them. They got to spend something, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm moving. It's business. Like, it's it's business. business. You know what I'm it's saying? Business. Like, it ain't that no pressure. All I business. love y'all. Right. Love all of you guys. And now, <laughs> so you was in music videos, mm-hmm. and now you do music. Yes. Now you're an artist. Yes. You got Whistle out now. Yes. And the video is crazy. It's Thank an official you. video. Thank I you. I commend you. That thing was A1. Thank you. You did a great job. Yeah. And your bars mm-hmm. is, is there. They are. You got the energy. You got the bars. You coming with it. You writing all them bars? For sure. You know I'm going to ask you. For sure. Got the For you. sure. Y'all know I am. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> I'm yes. just saying. For sure. For heavy. sure. I'm heavy. But I mean, you saying some shit I'm I would heavy. assume only you can say. For sure. Because you definitely talking crazy. I hope uh, it ain't one nigga. And I be serious about what I'm, you know what, what you saying? For sure. With the pussy power part, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I be <laughs> serious. Yeah, well, I'm ask you, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I throw a little spice in there, but. Oh, so you spicing it up. But most of the part, I be, you know what I'm saying? It be so about what it's about. So do the pussy got power or don't pussy got, got power? Are you piping it up? My ex told me I wasn't here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's the crazy? And he's not a liar. But what's he's the, a cheater. What's the, oh, Ooh. nah, I see. Nah. You cheating, you lying. We ain't gonna talk about that. Don't Cheating is different, it's different. Yeah. Men, y'all don't understand what? this. We complicated. You know what I mean? You know that pussy got pussy got pussy We complicated, we complicated creatures. We don't see that pussy got pussy. But, um, so, when it comes to that pussy power, what's like the baddest situation you ever had to deal with? Like the most pussy whips, crazy nigga doing the most outrageous shit because you gave him a little too much. <laughs> what happened? I know she got one. I know you got one. I know one. she got one. Well, that year, you got that something. Somebody was at your mom house talking to her. Let's <laughs> look come outside. Crying. Tell her I'm sorry. In the bushes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I had one. He, With the he, boom was, box. he was dangerous. <laughs> he was dangerous. He, but but he, he, he had me a little messed up too. But for the most part, it was him. What you mean it was him? He was dangerous. Like, crazy. He was driving you crazy? <laughs> he was crazy. He was a dog. You you, you you know you used to stalk me. Mm. He used like to stalk me. He was popping up anywhere you was at type of out. What'd he do? Come give us some. We need details. The craziest thing he, he did like, one time. He set me up. Oh. Set you up. Yeah, what like had the guy thinking it was me about to meet up with him. You know what I mean? It was both of us. Like he got me thinking we gotta go to the mall and I'm pulling up to the bull. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He can't be I'm like, you crazy. So he made yeah. it seem like he was main yes, man. Yes, but that's how I would have been. And all that. He made it seem like we was going out. I can't remember where we was about to You like a little but... toxicity. Yeah, for sure. I'm a tourist. Like that, do that just, it just make it a little special. It's fun, then, especially when he just mm. Kids is watching. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, no this. kids watching. It's dark. It's I mean, dark I'm just is. telling y'all, like, it's, it's, I mean, a part of it, it depends how far you take it, but, like, for the most part, once you get mad, he throw you up. Mm. You, yeah, everything be good at that. Toot it up. Mm. Boot it up. Shit be what it's what. You know what I mean? Drama. Bars. Drama. Bars. You like the drama. Mm-hmm. It's in your bars, though. You can tell the way you rap. You really, you be selling it. I'm about it. So do you think, like, you used to be a dancer? Mm-hmm. You think that dancing helped with the way you carry yourself when it comes to rapping and videos and all that type of stuff? Because mm. I feel like when it comes to females, it's about selling something, you know? And you learn that as a dancer that you got to sell this fantasy. I mean, I don't think it pretty much, like, helped me. But, like, it just spiced it up a little bit. So you... You think you was like this up. prior to dancing? This attitude, the way you carry yourself? Yes. 
For sure. I've been like this forever. Everybody who know me know I'm really like this. You, like, you got this appeal to you. People think it's I like a, it's them. It's a little dangerous. Like right. Yeah, See what I'm saying? Like so you make every nigga feel like yeah, and I don't be like he might be the one. Yeah, just come over like that, though. But I was, So I thought I that mean, was like a dancer thing. No. Like where you make every nigga buy into it to make Oh, no. We don't do that. We get point. straight to it in Miami. Okay. Well, I don't know about them, but... Yeah. Yeah, straight to it. It's just straight to the chat. Yeah, like, like what's up? You ain't even about that playpen. Yeah, because like, I, I talk to guys in the club. Like, you right. know, it is some guys who want to talk to you. But like, you know, I hear men, like, and I really, I really observe and I sit back and I watch, you feel me? And I watch our girls, where you from? And, oh my God, nobody want to hear that because we know, we, I, I, we know we don't care where you're from. Right. I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care what just <laughs> happened last Sunday. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, see how many ones you're trying to get. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to get busy, get out of here, you feel me? Yeah. Hopefully you're the only person I got to dance with tonight. Hopefully you, make a bag. you feel me? But right. like, no, I get straight to the chase. That's crazy. Cause the way you, I get straight to the chase. The spiciness you it carry is some it with, guys, you just you guys. be carrying it. Yeah. You be leading them on. You got to because if you really just sit there and be honest with men, <laughs> they ain't gonna take you. Shit. I told you. You feel me? So a <laughs> guy can only respect that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I didn't have some men who I just like gave my time of the day to, and it was just pointless. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just like when I was growing up, I like, gave my baby five some. He had no money. Got a baby and all that. Like, <laughs> but as of today. Ain't happening no more. No. You grown now. Nah, we ain't having it. We ain't playing that no more. We ain't using nothing. Like, we could be honest. What you trying to do? For <laughs> real, because I get my own money. What's up? Big bag. Big I'm, bag. I'm trips all that. Like, I really be outside, y'all. So, you working <laughs> on a tape EP? Yes, see. I am. Tell me about it. Um, I think I am going to call it Nightmare on York Street. Nightmare um, on York Street. Nightmare on York Street. Okay. I think that's the name I'm sticking with, y'all. Um, I want to like have it out by like October. Do a little Halloween, little. Yeah. It's gonna be ready in two months. Of course. I mean, I'm ready now. Okay. I just was like really holding everything off because of my Instagram being disabled. So. Yes. Tell us the story. Yeah, what happened? Y'all, I woke up one morning and it was like womp womp. Like for real, I went to sleep. I was feeling good. I had did a TikTok one or a TikTok. You feel me? Everything was cool. I mean, work made it a little fine, honey. I was disappointed in that, but woke up next morning to my Instagram disabled. Mm. What you do? I was about to say, was you twerking or nothing? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. That's right. the thing. I didn't post all that day. Damn. Maybe they was mad at me. Who was mad at you? Instagram. Maybe they was mad I wasn't posting. I don't know, do but I woke up y'all to my Instagram being disabled and I was really upset. That's but me. It is I'll be so is. mad. So you just got time. How they gonna give it back? I mean, it said 30 days. Okay. Sometimes they be lying though. They be lying about how long they keep going. Yeah, because like last time they told me 24 hours and I got it in like seven hours. I said, y'all okay. lie. Y'all hate me thinking. All right. Hopefully know? it's that like that. Where it's early, later. yeah. Because you definitely don't want to be stuck. Instagram. Get her her grand back. <laughs> we got business to do. So, what's the plans with the EP? You got features on there. You got, like, what? How are you taking it to the next level? Yes. You know you could do a track. You um, even I got have, features that you feel like. I have three for? features. Major? Yeah. You want to give us some names? One name. Give us some. Okay, one name, Cody Black. Hey. And that's it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Cody Black. Oh, I'm not talking about you. But Cody, that's my dog. Cody, you know you're my dog, for real. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. That's my dog. That's like major, yeah. That's yeah. my dog. You be tapped in for real. Because you dropped the name earlier, too. For sure. You but I just be, I be popping. Like, be, these people just be hitting you up. You just got a couple connects. That's it. No, don't even just be like that. Like, when you're really a good person, it'd be like, most of my connections came from people meeting me. Like, I would hit, I would hit people up on Instagram. Like, it have been people I hit up on Instagram. Like, I want to work with you. They ain't even peep me. But then when they see me in real life, it's like, Yeah. I you always tick? say that. I'm like, what's up? Like, I DM'd you. What's up? Like, yeah. they be like, all right, like, in the vibe, be there. Like, yeah. it was yeah. crazy how I met Kodak Blake. Like, it was just like, whoa, like, you oh, know you what I'm saying? I met him at a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> and I was crying, y'all, yeah. Hmm. I was crying. So, what you a fan of Kodak? No. I, 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 I bang with him, but I'm not, a, I don't, I'm not gonna turn on Kodak and listen, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I understand. No, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, wow. So, why you crying? Um, I can't really remember. I can remember a little bit, but I can't remember. I know I was just mad about something. Mm. And like, I was that at the gas like station shine, pissed like. when they get some gas. And call it like, fix your face. I'm like, you don't even, I look big like, I'm not even mature. 
He's like, you was a girl in my video. I'm like, yeah. And you still owe me $2,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not like owe me. That is. <laughs> he still owe you the check. Yeah. But that's cool, though. So he, he worked it off. He gave you a verse. That's a that's good fine. job. Yeah. That's dope. That's right. Yeah, because when they came to the club for the music video, I got paid up front. But he told me that we're going to throw $10,000 as you and another girl. The whole club made us share all the money. They threw 15000 in there. They, the club made us share with like 60 girls. I was pissed. The club oh. Kodak came in there like, this was only for Tinkerbella and this was for Von Shea. Mm. <laughs> and they was like, all right. When he left, they was not trying to <laughs> <this. laughs> they, they just made us split it. I say something like, I need my money because you mm. from <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I got a lot of people I like bang with and like that I talk to on a daily basis. But like, it ain't nothing for Instagram. Like, Instagram ain't got no, I talk to go there. Or like, I talk to right, right. Or like, no, it, when it's real life, it's real life. Like, it just is what it is. Right. Now, what if I gotta, you know, put something out, put something out? But everything is beneficial for, you know, everything. Right. Each party. Yeah. And everything is strictly business. That's it. That is how it's going, y'all. I mean, you got to carry like that because I feel like as a female in the industry, you know, once you start fanning that thing line, they had you fanning that motherfucker for the rest of your whole life. (laughs) (laughs) They go like, yeah, I heard, okay. You know what I'm saying? They going to come at you. And both of us, they start searching. Oh, yeah, that was like... Scrap, scrap. You know what I mean? So the Kodak situation, that's crazy. Yeah. And you still being with Cliff, though? Of course. And Cliff is the Actually, one that I'm got you. Actually, I'm about to you. perform at Miami Convention Center with Cliff being here for the Bruners Rule, so. Right. I'm excited. Is Cliff what got you introduced into the music? Like, doing that track no. with him Mm-mm. made you understand that you could go further with this? When I when I won that contest, mm-hmm. okay. What made me know I was like, there is when I did a tour. I did City Girls Twerk Challenge. That was before Cliff and Mary Challenge. And I had posted the the day the competition ended. I posted it. I got like 500 comments in like 30 minutes. Mm. I posted it. JC DM me like, girl, you waited so late. We already picked the winner. Like, Damn. we already, you know what I'm saying? Because the contest was over that day. Know. But I got the late notice. She DM me like, oh my God. Like, she's like, I'm about to see if I can work something out. Right. But what they told Instagram was like, then there was this other girl who did something with milk. And it was like, it was hard to choose between she, me and her. And she did really good. Her. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But it was like, Two girls, we just gotta leave both of y'all where y'all at. You feel me? Right. I'm like, all right, my page went up. After that, Cliff did a challenge. I didn't even know Cliff, but I always followed him. He did a challenge. I did that joint right the other day. He DM me like, oh my God, you won. I'm not even telling nobody you won. Like, mm. I'm like, hey, say no more. I'm gonna do another video. Just to spice it up. I did another one. It went up. And shit went up. It went up, and we've been friends ever since. He flew me out, and I'm like, yo, this is my lifestyle. This, this is where I belong. Like, this is where right. I belong. It was crazy. People started like DMing me like, oh my God, sing. <laughs> it was heavy for you. People were so heavy for me. And then like after that, I dropped a freestyle. My freestyle went up. Right. My freestyle went up. Everybody like, yo, she really hot. And she just kept going up and up. Oh, that's right. DM me like, you hard. I'm like, no, you hard. Nigga, like, <laughs> thank you. You know what I mean? Everybody just was like, yeah. That's what just like. Oh, yeah. So Cliffy Mirror actually played a really big part in like, my success right. as of getting Give to where that, I am. that push but up there, helping you see what you could do. For sure, but Tori Lanes like, told me, like, yo, like, you look like a celebrity, like, yo, you feel me? Yeah. I got to do something like else. Where you meet he Tori? He made me yeah. rap. He made me rap. You, you can't just the, uh, jump in and say Tori Miami Lanes Hotel, said, he made me rap, and that's when I'm just like, I go to my mom, like, mom, I made for this, yo. Like, I just met Tori, like, how he even know I was a rapper? How he know I was rapper, mom? He seen my page before, mom. I'm telling you, uh, mom. He seen he my page. Like, at you. I'm like, mom. He seen my page. They know I'ma make it. Like, <laughs> right. like come on, y'all. And at I hang with like yeah. celebrities. Like, all my all my home real friends is like into some. It sounds like the oh, stars yeah. have a line, you know what I mean, in yeah, your favor. Because sure. it sounds like everybody you talking to really somebody that's that's doing something, kicking it, pushing it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, for so sure. That's something major. We we gonna yeah. be looking out for you. We, we definitely yes, gonna be y'all. watching. Y'all gotta support y'all girl. You make y'all sure already when did. you go in and you do your thing, you bring that ass right back oh here, bring God. that yurt, yeah. put well, it back in the Well, y'all not gonna be here. Yeah, right? Bring that yurt. But, that, you, know, you know, look it up. You know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> we gonna be out there too. Y'all gonna be in a big building. Yeah, we got we got a couple things. You know it's fine to be coming. We don't know nothing about that Yeah, We got a couple things coming, you know what I'm saying? In due time. I'm saying never but and in the yeah, so bring that yurt, and we're we gonna be looking forward to you know your success. 
let them know where to keep Thank up you. with you, where to follow you at. I don't know, you want to follow your backup page, your <laughs> old page. Just tell them both of them. Like, you know what I mean? Just in case whatever. they don't, you know what I mean, fuck you over and they give you old joint back. Okay. Y'all, y'all can follow me on Instagram at I'm Tinkabella. Twitter at Tinkabella, TikTok Tinkabella. And you know, me in real life, period. Y'all catch me, y'all catch me, and I'm with Cooking Up. Thank you, baby. Yes, she is. Yeah, she was cooking up. This yeah. your boy, Smooth. Mm. She got every gram, baby. It's Tinkabella in the building. This is Queen Yurt. It's Cooking Up 205. We out, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Shot girl Tika Bella, and I had a great time with Emma Grant and my boy Smooth. Y'all make sure y'all check out my latest interview with Cooking Up Two One Five. Y'all already know how I carry it like Harry. Period. In that shit. <laughs>